want to be here, neither do we. That's why we call it the obligatory. We talk about farts, food, mics, kids, $5,000 beds, girls, comedy, and Kermit's butthole. Yeah, maybe the facts aren't right, but here's the obligatory podcast with Kermit and Mike. Welcome back. It's the obligatory podcast with Kermit and Mike. This is episode 55. Hey, good to see you, man. What's going <laughs> Is it? No, it, we took last week off. I know, it was wonderful. I missed you. No, you didn't. I did, I missed you. And you're was, still sick, too. That's why I we am. took it off. No, no, that was like that was like an added reason to take it off. But we took it off because... Uh, yeah, your sickle sales. No, because your, uh, your girl's dad came into town and you had to play good boyfriend all week, right? Oh, no, that got messed up, too. What happened? He comes in the... the comes in this week, I think. So, what, so we took week? off last week for no reason? Well, it was a good reason. Why? I got a lot of rest. <laughs> I got a break. You're such a liar. No, I, he was supposed to come, and then mm. they messed you, up. You were supposed to go pick him up at the airport? Yeah, then they changed it. They go, oh, no, 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 it's next week. Like the we, night that you were going to pick uh-huh. him up at the airport? Yeah. Like no one called to say, nope. hey, by the way, he won't be on that nope. plane? No, as soon as I'm about to leave the house, they're like, hey, where are you? I was like, I'm at the house. They go, so we read the tickets wrong. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I was like, what? And they go, yeah, he doesn't leave till next week. So he wow. comes in tomorrow mm-hmm. or tonight. Did he get like all the way to the airport and tried to give him a ticket? Oh no, he like... was he was in his he was at home oh, relaxing. Okay. And then just And then just then come. <laughs> I guess or whatever. I just So we canceled last week because Monday night I saw you at the other bar. You're like, hey man, girl's father's coming in tomorrow, yeah. so we can't do the podcast. And I'm like, all right, that happens. And then they read the date wrong. So does that mean we got canceled next week? Does that what mean what no, he leaves Sunday. Okay. No, that's well, good. When's he come in? Today or tomorrow. I don't know. Oh, okay. I'm not picking him up now. Okay. Doesn't matter. He's renting a car. You're like, done. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Done. Yeah. All right. Is, so he, sta- is he staying with you? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know anything. Because our studio might become his guest room. No, uh, he, the couch will be his guest room. Oh, okay. Well, that works. I don't think he's going to stay. He's not going to stay here. It's only one two-bedroom apartment. We're yeah. We're one. But... I wasn't I wasn't too upset about canceling because like Monday night when I saw you I started feeling like a little bit sick yeah. and it has been with me since then. So it's and, been like But you're still sick. Yeah, though. I know. And you're like in my house. I know. I know. It's at the end of it. It's like done. Uh, I swear if I get sick I'm going to be mm. so pissed off with you. Yeah. Yeah. And you shook my hand. I did. I wash my hands, but it's still. And I coughed on my hand. Right and, and I washed my hands. Hand. I washed my I hands before we started this podcast. Yeah, I'm just because just I'm here spreading Ebola or whatever it is. No, nah, dude, it's nothing. It's fine. It's towards. I want to put you in a helmet, man. I'm fine. I'm uh, fine. You gonna turn me into like all bubble boy? Yeah, I'll put you in a bubble. It's it's been a it's been a shitty week, man. It's been a shitty week. Why has uh, it been a shitty week? Well, number one, I've been dealing with this. Yeah, you got ammonia, or whatever. Yeah, and I still had two shows last week. Uh, one was up in Daytona on Wednesday. I had to go up there do that. Then Saturday, I was down in Fort Pierce, like around my hometown. You did both shows sick? Yeah. Ew. Yeah. Which, dude, blood money at some point, you know? Okay. But then uh, also, if you remember, I uh, had that great audition with America's Got Talent. <laughs> okay. Right? Made it into the second like round of callbacks. Great. It was. It was good. Okay. I made it into the second round of callbacks, which a lot of people didn't do that day, right? Uh-huh. And then I also had submitted my late night writer's packet for NBC's right. late night writer's internship. And all within the same week of being sick and feeling miserable, uh, both of them got back to me to let me know they would not be pursuing any further options for me so and it's funny because i was actually i i was uh working on uh recording something when i got oh the, hold up what you you didn't get a call back from agt no i i won't be going further with either of them oh so i'm sorry yeah i don't know but this is i, I actually had my recorder going because i've been working on something i actually got my natural reaction when i found out that i won't be <laughs> getting that late night writers Go program ahead. so i'm fighting for my life <laughs> I can't help 30 years. <laughs> Robert. 30 years. Mike. Yeah, I don't Mike. I don't know why my kids were calling me Robert. <laughs> like when Mike. I freak out, they call me Robert. Mike, settle down. Settle down, Mike. It was very upsetting. <laughs> I get they're killing me here. I'm just trying to I'm trying to earn a living for my kids, oh, my, my family. Gosh. Yeah, so So, so no know, call back. <clears throat> you know, they say when one door closes. And then another door closes. That door closes. <laughs> That's both doors. You're trapped. That house is burning down and you're not getting out. Can't... 
<laughs> you playing back? I'm playing a loser. Mm. Can we just, uh, I guess that's a good segue into your past weekend. <laughs> showing that you are probably the worst DJ or First the best off, DJ. I didn't lose. Okay. I, I was winning, sort of. Okay, so uh, just to recap, you you got a gig. You were out not fighting or training, but you were DJing out in Daytona, was it? Yeah, oh, hold on, man. Yeah. Are you bummed out, though? Am I bummed out? Yeah, like, realistically, are you okay? What am I going to do about I it? I know man? you're, like, really pushing for that TV gig. I'm, I have my fingers crossed, but, oh, you know, know, you know what, man? There's next year. I'm only going to get better, right? Right? I told you not to shave the beard for the AGT thing, too. Nah, I think it helped. No, it did not. Nah, I think it helped. I think you should have kept the beard. Dude, I'm going to be fine. Yeah. I'm going to be fine. Like, la last year was legitimately my first time auditioning for AGT, uh, and I made it further than most of the people we know. Right? Okay. And, uh, of course, I'm going to watch it this season and be like, I ain't come in. They put out and be <laughs> I like, this show. Really? Really? Him over me? Her over me? Oh, you know they're going to have a really bad comedian on. Yeah. And he's going to do your jokes because they recorded it. <sighs> Who knows? <laughs> Maybe I'll get lucky this year and get a stroke so I have a gimmick to go back with. <laughs> you know, maybe the right side of my face won't work and then they'll be like, now you're funny. Oh. Now America will love you. <laughs> you got to have a story to be on there, man. I just don't have a story. I got like that average like, oh, okay. You, you just, you work paycheck to paycheck. You should have lied, man. Nah, man, because what's the first thing that happens when you get a little bit of fame? Like you should have said, like, you, you got hit by a car on the way there and like mm -hmm. you barely struggled. You struggled to get there and... Mm -hmm. I don't know. You think that'd be enough? I I woke up this morning with a hangnail. You almost called off this whole you competition. Said, you could say you got jumped. By who? I would have did it for you. I would have beat you up. Oh, great. So now I'm Jesse Smollett. Yeah, but we, to, like, I'll actually beat you, you up. Do you see he's facing 16 indictments right but now? But it's just to get auditions, not to like... Yeah. They, you, you think there's any career left for that kid after that, man? <laughs> but see, after, yours is different. After, You're starting a career. Nah. They'll, they'll bite. Nah, it's all right, man. So, yeah, I put a post on my Facebook that I uh, I didn't get the NBC writers thing. I didn't get AGT. My lottery tickets didn't clear. So I'm like, bookers, you can get me for one more year at my bargain <laughs> discount. Fee. discount I price. swear to God, man. And uh, a couple of people actually reached out. And I was like, okay, I was kind of kidding about the price because that... I want you to do uh, two hours for 50. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I got a couple of dates, but man. Do yeah, I gotta put you on suicide watch? Nah, nah, dude. It, it does take some of the wind out of your sails, but you know what? It's, uh, you, why is it? You miss every shot you don't take, right? Right. right? You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Yeah, so I just gotta keep uh, taking some shots. But enough about me, dude. You know, my motto is... Me. What's yours? Never try, never fail. <laughs> <laughs> don't set yourself up for disappointment. You no, won't sir. Get any. <laughs> no, sir. Uh, but yeah, uh, you were DJing out at, at Daytona. What was it? What? Oh, so we had, um, first off, I got hired to DJ for a uh, jujitsu event, mm -hmm. which I didn't read. This is what happens to people when you don't read into details. I thought it was just a jujitsu tournament, mm -hmm. like a basic jujitsu tournament. And I didn't read exactly what was happening on this event. And when I show up, it's an actual MMA fight, <laughs> like cage. And, like, these guys are kickboxing and fighting in the cage. And this is up at the, what, Daytona, the, the Ocean, Ocean, Center? Ocean Center, right? So the big complex up there. Right. Yeah. Luckily, uh, I knew this was kind of like a big job. So I brought my buddy with me, Dwight. Mm -hmm. And uh, he helped me. And uh, everything went wrong. Everything went wrong. Number one, I didn't update my system. So the system kept cutting in and out. So when the music was playing, it was just shut off. So we were transferring from my phone using the auxiliary cord onto the other speaker. So we'll shut down the system and then we'll play music from one speaker only. And we're blasting that, but nobody reckoned notice. Yeah. Nobody noticed. So we're bouncing between my phone and the actual DJ system because I didn't update. So you know, we pick on you a lot about being DJ playlist over there. Oh, it was but bad. This was strictly this was straight up playlist. This was just an uh, amplifier hooked up to your phone. <laughs> no mixing, <laughs> no blending, just straight songs. Oh. Cause uh, everything went wrong. Everything went wrong. So then uh, they got the fights going on. So they got the fights going and on. You don't play music during the fight. Right? No, you don't. You play. You play like you know during intermission, mm -hmm. uh, before everything started. They're walkout songs, mm -hmm. and then in between rounds. Right. So round ends. You play music until the bell rings again. Okay. So that's actually working because we're doing it off of one speaker and nobody realized anything. Where we got almost beat up because we don't, first off, this is Dwight's fault because he gave me the idea mm -hmm. and I was like, yeah, let's do it. 
I would never thought of it, but he thought about it. Um, so after a fight where someone gets really beat up or knocked out, uh, like say the guy got knocked out, all of a sudden like did it dun dun another one bites the dust. Da, 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 you da, you da, became like da, a hockey game DJ. <laughs> <laughs> then there's this Mexican fighter comes out, mm -hmm. and then we freaking play low <laughs> Roger. <laughs> Get low. He's like, that's not my walk up song. <laughs> We're being so racist. And stereotype. Oh my gosh. Then another guy, this is the one who almost got beat up. Another guy, he gets kicked. He gets kicked so hard in his leg. Mm -hmm. I guess the guy like ripped his ACL. Ouch. Like he just, it popped. Paramedics are in the ring. And then I played, uh, you know, you know the uh, the rap band uh, Tribe Called Quest, yeah, rap group. Yeah. You ever heard a song? Can I kick it? How's like, it go? Can I kick it? Yes, you can. <laughs> can I kick it? Yes, and you can. And from his camp, kind you're of like, over. what the fuck, well, bro? Bad choice of music, man. And then the guys mm -hmm. like, you think that's funny? Think that's funny? I was like, it's pretty funny. <laughs> it's pretty funny. <laughs> you should have played sweep the leg, Johnny. <laughs> That's like a, we were at an open mic one night, and I guess uh, the parking level next to us, someone jumped off the top of the parking level. Really? Took their own life. Where is this? Uh, over at Unai Drive, that Saturday night open mic we do. No kidding. Yeah, and uh, Kevin and I were there hosting, and uh, someone someone played the music. Uh, what was it? Uh <sighs> Wish you would step off of that ledge, my friend. <laughs> I wish you would step out from that we ledge, could. my friend. Third eye blind, I think. <laughs> yes. Cut ties with all the lies that you've been living in. And if you do not want to see me again, splat. <laughs> then they follow up with, with the, because I'm free, free falling. She's a good girl. <laughs> splat. On the fifth level. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you hear. That's, yeah. Yeah, so the, that's the yeah, that of, guy's dead. That's the type of music I. <laughs> that's the type of music I've been listening to since hearing from NBC and last comics. Are you day. listening? No, <laughs> you got a different. No, because you remember uh, you got me in that whole workout thing. Which I'll tell you, that's the worst part about being sick the past week. Like I miss going to the gym. Like yeah, you can't I'm, be spreading. You can't be that guy in the gym. Right, but I'm. I feel sick, and then I know I'm not getting. I'm missing workouts, which right. actually pisses me off a little bit. And I wouldn't feel so bad, except the week before this all went down was the first week in like two months I kind of had, you know, I didn't hit the gym as hard as I should. And I didn't like eat perfectly. Like you and I went out, you, you were telling me about that tapas place. Tapas. Tapas. What's the difference? Tapas, tapas. Is they're, it pronounced tapas or tapas? I don't know. They're fucking appetizers is what they are. <laughs> okay. Jesus. That's what they are. But yeah, this place, what was <laughs> so it's angry? Hawkers. 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 And it's like Japanese street fair food or something that's yeah, how they got it right yeah, yeah something like that it's not like that and uh yeah you're always getting on me for eating like the same like i don't try new things and uh, i gotta tell you i might stick to what i know because <laughs> that stuff was fucking they had some ridiculous stuff over there dude first off first of all a lettuce wrap is people who are too lazy to make fucking tacos for you that's all they don't even give you a tortilla taco. it's a healthy taco it's fucking two pieces of lettuce and like good luck getting that meat in there what it else? seems like what else did you hate? It seems like tapas or tapas. You didn't say none of this shit at, when we were eating dinner. I was just thinking it. It, <laughs> it. it just kind of felt like they make half the food for you and you finish making it yourself. That's what it kind of felt like. But you know what I did like? What was that? What that weird? It, it was the doughy? like a doughy bun. Bows. 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 Yeah. Yeah. That was good. Okay, so you ate pork belly. That's that dough is pork. No, well, inside of it was pork belly. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, right. The What's doughy right? stuff is just I don't know. It's doughy stuff. That's cool. It's was, it's was like a mix between like it was like an Asian Play -Doh taco and pizza dough. It yeah. was just yeah. Is there Asian version of tacos? That was pretty good, but those can't those can't be healthy, right? But everything else you said was spicy. You I didn't know you can't handle hot sauce. Yeah, you're a puss. I'm a puss. Yeah. Remember, I told you those. Uh, I told you that chicken for the wrap was too spicy, and you're like, "Let me try that." Okay, that okay, was that's spicy. Just, <laughs> that was spicy. But everything else, I didn't realize was that spicy. Mm. No, I just thought some things they were just calling in, like, uh, "What was it?" You ordered that one thing, and it came out, and it was just plain tortillas with a sauce. It's roti. Yeah, they give it a fancy name for undercooked <laughs> tortillas. And you know what? They fucked us over because we paid like eight bucks for the lettuce wrap things and then eight bucks for the tortilla 
to- what's it called? Uh, roti. Rotis. And those should have came together at any other restaurant. At any <laughs> Didn't other you make restaurant. yours like that? <laughs> Didn't you start making like your I did. own taco? I did. I took the fucking roti and I took the other crap and I put it in there. I'm like, see, this is a, at, at Taco Bell, this is $2. <laughs> that's, what the, that's what I'm telling you, man. They bring you out all the ingredients and you just kind of make your own shit. Did you eat the curry sauce? The spicy no, curry sauce? No, no, oh, you no. You didn't no, fuck no. with that either. Okay. No, no. Mm-mm. Someone was trying to tell me it was guacamole. I'm like, no, it's not. <laughs> good thing I don't like guacamole. But no, it was good, man. It was good to try something out. Speaking of hot sauce, uh, <laughs> dude, I, I, read, I, I read this article and I thought of you. A man in Oregon, 36 years old, trapped in snow in his vehicle for five days. Oh, I heard about this. Survived on Taco Bell sauce packets. How many days did he get trapped in the snow? He was out there for five days. Five That's days. a long time, man. I guess and he had his dogs with him. And I guess he was on some, uh, you know, small back road and something happened. He got like stuck in the snow. How many dogs? Two. Something like that. Okay. So, yeah. So you save some of that hot sauce for the dogs on day eight, you know, because. I guess what did the dogs eat? I don't know. I guess hot sauce. Oh, that means that guy was like in the, in the car with dog shit and his shit. Well, I don't think they were snowed in. I think they were just like stranded in the area. Like he could get out and walk oh, around. Okay, okay. And then hop back in. It wasn't like he was injured or anything. It was just like something went wrong with his. Uh, I think he was either stuck stuck in the snow in a hard to access reachable place. Like his family put out a missing persons thing, and that's when they sent out people and found him. And he didn't I, have a he didn't have a cell phone. You know what? Once you get up north, dude. Like even where uh, baby's mama's parents live. They live in a township in upstate New York. No signal. No signal. Yeah. Once you get mm. up in the mountains, dude, especially those places where it's not like inhabited a lot, where people are like, yeah, we're not going to put a tower up here because it's not cost effective for us, you know? So how many packs of sauces did he have? Sauce bows. I don't know how many packs of sauces he had, but uh, basically uh, all the nutritionists have said that uh, Taco Bell hot sauce contains no calories whatsoever is that the diet you're gonna go on now hot yeah, sauce taco yeah. bell diet yeah right uh it contains no calories so they're like like what i was talking about earlier it was more of a mental thing for him i guess just having something with flavor or something huh. i would have made some hot sauce snow cones you know isn't just, that bad to eat snow cones though like from snow why like, i don't know why i thought like eating what's snow. purer than the snow that comes from you don't eat the yellow snow because that's where the dogs were pissing right but i'm just saying i thought it was bad to eat the snow no no? I don't know. I mean... Like, you eat a huge amount of snow. I heard it's bad. I I don't know. I grew up as you a kid. You grew up I, up north, didn't yeah, you? And, so, yeah, you should it, know. I don't know. It's not like I feasted on I fucking snow. I seen snow once. But, like, yeah, you can take a bite out of a snowball and I, stuff. I, I get a bite. It's just... Like, it's ice. It's sh- it's shaved ice. How much diarrhea do you think that guy had? A lot. But you know what? Taco Bell can't get better advertising. That's a than great this. advertising. You can survive on he put sauce. on He put on his Facebook, Taco Bell saves lives. And, uh, Is that what he said? Yeah. <laughs> And Taco Bell reached out to him and actually oh, Taco they, Bell for life. They've given him a year, a year of free Taco One Bell. One year? Come on, Taco Bell. Yeah. Well, the, <laughs> lunch, breakfast, dinner. I mean, come on, you're you gonna give him at a least year. a life, like at least you, two, three years. You know what's funny though? It's like it's the best advertising for them right now. But a year from now, when he's had lunch, breakfast, dinner, Taco Bell, and he dies from <laughs> sodium, they're like, okay, this backfired. This backfired. <laughs> Taco Just Bell's me all, emergency me all the, rations. Only. All the cinnamon twists you can handle. If you were if you were stuck in a car, what's the one like? I, I, I those Taco Bell hot sauce packets would just sit there. I wouldn't. I'd be like, I guess I die because I wouldn't be eating Taco Bell hot sauce. So you saying pick a sauce? Pick a condiment. What would you? What one condiment? Hmm. Maybe I, Arby sauce. Really? What's that? Like a steak sauce? Yeah. Really? It's like a steak sauce. Arby sauce is pretty good. Yeah. I don't know. I. Uh, Oh, the Polynesian sauce and chicken filler. Yeah, you like that? That's pretty good. I was going to say, like, I like the queso from uh, Gringo's, but I don't think that counts that's not as a, a condiment. Sauce? Yeah, that's not a... It is a sauce. I mean... It's queso sauce. But it's not in a packet. Oh, so if they put it in a packet, all of a sudden it's fair game? Yes. I don't think that would keep in a packet, though. I think that's the thing. Yeah, what kind of, you know... But you got plenty of refrigeration out there. I mean, you're fucking freezing shit. Right? <laughs> you're good. Do you have packs of shit in your car right now? I don't. I was say, I don't either. I would have died. Like, I never get... I never get anything. I don't got shit in my car right now. What, what do I have? I used to ask for ketchup from places, but the truth is by the time I get home, I've already eaten anything I was going to put ketchup on. <laughs> so it doesn't even matter. Just shove it in my mouth. I think maybe relish. I like relish. Do you like relish? By itself? 
well, this guy, I'm sure he wanted a taco to put the sauce on, you know? <laughs> I mean, hell, if you're out there stuck in a car, you're not really <laughs> beggars and choosers. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Nah, I mean, I eat relish, but I don't, eat, I don't know. Yeah. At I wouldn't be my go-to. You think, you think something has more, like, nutritional value than the other? Maybe sauerkraut. You think so? Maybe. You think, I would think, I think relish would be up there. Is sauerkraut like, cabbage? What's relish made out of? Pickles? Yeah, yeah. Because I, th- I would think, I don't know, condiment-wise, the thing that's closest to resembling the actual food it's supposed to taste like probably has more nutritional value. Though. Like ketchup is just like tomato paste and salt, but I think I th- think that uh, relish would have more. I don't know. I'm sure later we can Google all this shit. <laughs> I like how we're trying to science science this up and figure out. Well, what. I'm trying to think what I need to keep rather than preventing myself from getting stuck <laughs> on the road. I'm thinking, okay, it's going to happen because we know me. So what should I have handy? I'm trying to think what other sauces I would like in the pack. Mm, Jello pudding. No, that's, that's a, well, that's a, that's a meal. Yeah. Jello pudding is a meal. And what's the deal with this stuff? Like if you buy in the store, it's on the shelf. But as soon as you take it home, you put it in the fridge. Do you know anything like that? Like uh, ketchup is like that. You, as soon as you open it, you're supposed to put it in the fridge. Yeah, and jelly. I do that with jelly too. Like I open jelly when I get home. Mm-hmm. It says refrigerate after opening. Does it? I mean, most things do. Yeah. I don't follow it. I've seen some people that put peanut butter in the fridge. I'm like, that's just ridiculous. Is, aren't you supposed to? I don't. I don't eat peanut butter. I don't think you're supposed to. I mean, peanut butter, just frozen peanut butter, must be harder to spread than even regular. Well, peanut yeah, butter. yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. Great discussion. It's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing we haven't died from some sort of food virus by now. Uh, what What's your view on pizza? Like, if you order pizza, because there's people that will order pizza, yeah, at night, have a couple of slices, leave it sitting out on like the oven top in the box, and then the next day they're like, that pizza's still good. Still good, baby. You think so? Hell yeah. I've always had a problem with that. I've always had a problem. I always think you still need to refrigerate Sofa it. Sofa pizza too. That's fine. <sighs> you leave it by like your, like the little counter next to your sofa you're eating it Mm-mm. and you wake up in the morning is no. there it's uh cheese bread mm. it's like a breakfast bread i don't know man what do you mean i don't know it's the same shit yeah i i just don't think you ever, you're had, you ever had uh like leftover pizza you're not allowed, you're not supposed to get thing let things get to a certain temperature it's room temperature yeah maybe that's the temperature that bacteria grows on you don't know eh. you ever pick up a piece of pizza and it looks like it's been sweating like it just Gone for a 20 minute run. <laughs> well, that's because of the, all the grease. Yeah, that's what I'm talking That's not natural. You shouldn't be eating that. I mean, not supposed to, but you can. Mm-hmm. I mean, do you, like, like what I do then is. Then you I, wonder why you're always pulling over on the side of the road because you're almost <laughs> con- uncontrollably about to poop. I like egg pizza. You ever have an egg pizza? Nah, what's that? You, have, you, you take your pizza, mm-hmm. and you leave it overnight, mm-hmm. and you wake up in the morning, you make scrambled eggs, mm-hmm. and you put scrambled eggs on the pizza. That sounds good. And then you have like a cheesy bread. Uh, egg, egg sandwich. Pizza. I saw the it's other delicious. day, uh, pizza donuts. Pizza donut. Pizza. Oh, Where they actually take like donut dough, and then they stuff it with like mozzarella. I'll do and, that. And then they deep fry. Where's this it. at? But there was the recipes online. Oh, I ain't gonna cook that shit. No, yeah, give it to your girl. Tell her that's what we want. <laughs> that's what we want. I want a pizza donut now. Mm-hmm. Chop chop in the kitchen. So, you didn't have any people in these fights. Like, like me personally, fight my like. like I know friends. I have friends in the fights. Oh, cool! Uh, yeah, they got beat up. I, but, um, <laughs> I think the I think the best fight over the weekend uh, wasn't even man versus man, though, was it? Uh, well, we had a couple little man or man versus uh, animals. Yeah, I saw. I saw you were, we were watching these videos before. He's, first off, you want you want to talk about the kangaroo or the or, or the oh let's 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 the go the paraglider. The paraglider. Yeah, <laughs> Yo, that, that was that's, just. Just, that is the if, most. If you, I think you sent me this video, and I just I loved it. I watched it like six times in a row. Yeah, that is the most Australian thing. Basically, there's a guy parasailing in Australia, right, or paragliding. Yeah, and uh, there he is right now. He's paragliding. He's coming in for a landing. Good landing too. It's like nice open area. He's in Australia, by the way. And then, in the distance, there's a gang. A gang kangaroo. What's up, Skip? Hey, back off! Uh, back off! Go away! Ah, fucking kangaroos! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I like how he's like, he's like, hey, what's up, Skip? 
What's up, Skip? <laughs> hey, back off! Uh, back off! <laughs> Go away! <laughs> that kangaroo is an asshole, and then it, it bounces away. Ah, fucking kangaroos. Kangaroos are the gangs of yeah, Australia. I just, I just love it. You see him coming in, and then you see this little dot as soon as he lives. And there's like another one behind him. Two kangaroos yeah. come right towards him. And I guess it's, it's. Imagine living in a place where it's so common that kangaroos just come up because this guy's like, "Oh, hey, what's up, Skip?" And this kangaroo's not having none of it. He just saw this thing swoop in from the sky and just goes. <laughs> he swung at it. That's great. Yeah. Yo, kangaroos are the assholes of Australia. Mm -hmm. A bunch of thugs. Bunch of thugs running around Australia. Yeah, other people like watching cute cat videos and stuff. I like watching animals beat up on humans <laughs> for no reason. Well, that's the best, man. Like when you see like, like mainly white people getting eaten by sharks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really? That make you happy? <laughs> it makes me so happy. Like ah, oh, you dumbass. That's what you get. Look white at you people. screaming. White people. Why are you? Why, who who told you that that cage is gonna hold? And then uh, I gotta tell you, there there's a story that hit. That I, I was kind of like I was on the bandwagon. And then after seeing a couple of interviews, I'm like, uh, I think I'm on the other side of things. And that was, uh, it happened in Arizona at Wildlife World Zoo. Uh, did you see this? A woman was, uh, quote unquote, attacked by a jaguar. Yeah, I saw it. It's hilarious. Did you see that? They she, have video of her on the ground. And she deserves it. She, see, that's, that's, that's the issue I'm having here. Like, what do you mean? Well, all the first articles said she, you know, basically hopped over a barrier, yeah. across the barrier. And I was thinking, like, the c kid who got into Harambe's cage, that type of scenario. Like, yeah, that's what you fucking get. But then I started watching the videos. And, dude, this wasn't a barrier. This wasn't a wall. This thing was like a three-foot planter. Like, it came up to the person's hips. And they had like plants in it, and it's like a it's like a little wall that you see. There's pictures of people putting their kids up on this wall to look closer to the cage, and the cage is like two to feet. Like, if you're standing on one side of the planter, the cage is maybe two or three feet away. And that's the cage, and I guess what happened is she kind of leaned over. <laughs> kind of. Yeah, I mean, if you look at, it, dude, I showed you the pictures, right? Would you say that's not exactly a wall or a barrier or a barricade? I mean, it has plants in it, for Christ's sakes, and it's it's lower than waist level, right? <laughs> yeah, where did she get attacked at? Sanford Zoo? Nah, it was, uh, <laughs> yeah, Wildlife World in Arizona. But And then uh, this jaguar got its paw, like, through the cage. First off, that cage is huge, mm -hmm. like the, the opening. Mm -hmm. And there's not much distance between that little... Dude, it's like the distance between me and you with the, with the desk right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm saying. When you heard the story, you're like, yeah, screw that bitch. She jumped over. She got what you, she deserved. And, uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not seeing it, man. And, uh, I guess they don't report this much, but there was another incident last month. Same thing. Same Jaguar. You think she deserved it though? She like, maybe she's a bad person. Well, who doesn't deserve to get mauled <laughs> by a Jaguar? But seriously, uh, apparently they're like oh she was leaning over to take a selfie and stuff like that and then she's saying no i was just leaning in to take a regular picture yeah if you can if you can just lean over naturally and get attacked like that then there needs to be more security there it's like a little moat <laughs> it's not that far from the cage it's not, it, it really is just like how would you best describe what that looks like it's like when you're walking through disney world or universal and they got the little uh the little walls around attractions that people sit on. And yeah, that's, what, and that's exactly like that. what it that's is. That's all it is. It's a little flower bed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's not a barrier. <laughs> like, if you put that up between the U.S. and Mexico, Trump would be like, this is not what I was looking for. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. This damn barrier. This thing is so small. Yeah. Yeah, that cat was going to kill that lady. Yeah, and then should this case, especially at, at an area where people can easily get there why would you have so many why would you have a gap big enough for this jaguar to get a hand how did she get away to get a paw through uh i guess oh uh someone else stuck a water bottle through one of the spaces in the cage which distracted the jaguar long enough for it to like let go of her so he had his he had his mouth around her arm yeah <laughs> it was either it was the mouth or the claw Something that something that said it. <laughs> honey, honey, come take a picture with me. Oh, yeah. look, the jaguar is trying to say hi. <laughs> Done. 
Yeah. So oh man, I don't know about that. I gotta see how that story. But Did her face get clogged up? Clawed up? Nah, just just her arm, I think. But I mean, it was a huge. You see the video, and you can see like the muscle and the tendons. It's a damn Jungle Book. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, our first reaction, of course, is you know, yeah, no, that woman got what she deserved. But then you see it, and you're like, holy shit. Well, yeah. at least they're not killing the. Uh, the jaguar. Yeah. Yeah. It was just being a damn jaguar. Yeah. Yeah, but they. I mean, even at, like, Animal Kingdom and stuff, they got, what, the plexiglass, right? Yeah. And I think the zoo on Sanford does a lot of the plexiglass, or at least puts enough distance between you and the cage. Because the zoo of Sanford does not have plexiglass. No, not Sanford. I'm sorry, uh, Brevard. Melbourne. I'll go say Sanford. Mm. Sanford Zoo is like, here's an ant farm. <laughs> yeah. 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 Sanford Zoo. Ugh. Mm. They got a crow exhibit. That's how messed up they are. Mm. St. Patty's Day is this weekend, man. You got anything planned? Yeah, I'm going to dress up like a leprechaun and run downtown, see if anyone can catch me. So it's going to be like a regular Sunday for you. <laughs> we'll celebrate that cracker-ass shit. It, <laughs> cracker-ass shit. It is, it is kind of a ridiculous holiday, I'll give you that. I mean, that's your holiday more than anything. St. Patrick's Day, not only is it uh, an Irish holiday, it's uh, my dad's birthday, and he's full-blood Irish. He's going to go get drunk? Yeah, he doesn't have to go. He just We got a fridge at the house. He just <laughs> goes there. But... um. Yeah, you know, I always find it funny that when you look back at some of the beliefs of how St. Patty's Day started, uh, one of them is uh, about, about, of course, St. Patrick, who wasn't even Irish. He was a slave brought to Ireland and then later returned to teach Christianity. Really? Yeah, but the most basic non-religious related view of St. Patty's Day is St. Patty came to Ireland and rid Ireland of the snakes with a wooden staff. And uh, Oh, is that the same day that... That's what this whole thing is? Yeah. I, I read that. Here's like, the kicker. There were never any snakes in Ireland. Like, the water is around them. Too cold for snakes to even really? get over there. So, basically, like, they give St. Patrick credit for getting rid of something that was never there. <laughs> kind of like me, you know, making sure that Cuba had no penguins. You know? <laughs> it's just, where's my fucking holiday? Let me get rid <laughs> of these nasty penguins for you. What penguins? Oh, if you had seen them, they were horrible, lad. <laughs> So, so, no, you're not doing anything. You're not going to celebrate. Not, do, you, do you do the thing with the kids where you pinch them? Uh, no, nah, because, I mean, part of being Irish is you don't get pinched. Because if you're Irish, you don't have to wear green because you're Irish. But how the hell can you tell who's Irish? Someone tries to pinch you, you're like, fuck off, I'm Irish. Well, you do that shit now, you might be like R. Kelly. You might yeah. get... <laughs> I just... Like, I get it. It's no Cinco de Mayo, you know? Like, your people's holiday. Time out. Cinco de Mayo is amazing. Yeah, huh? We celebrate the dead. I just think it's annoying. You guys celebrate being drunk. Yeah. We celebrate the dead and get drunk. Yeah. I just think it's always ridiculous that, like, my Hispanic friends on St. Patty's Day are like, hey, you know what I'm going to do at St. Patty's Day? I'm going to wear green. I'm going to drink green beer. I'm going to eat some corned beef because everybody's Irish on St. Patty's Day, which is bullshit because I don't go over on Cinco de Mayo and be like, hey, it's Cinco de Mayo. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to mow some lawns. I'm going to oh. sleep with a fat white oh, woman. Mother- <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to apply for welfare because everybody's Latino on Cinco de Mayo. Oh, my God. It's so racist. Now- <laughs> <laughs> Ryan's gotta be a fat white woman by the yeah. way oh uh, I'm racist <laughs> weren't you the one just playing low rider <laughs> that's my people's nationality song we come into the world with that song <laughs> 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 hey papa you want to cut the cord <laughs> <laughs> with a machete <laughs> I always thought that was ridiculous too after having two kids was that like uh when <laughs> The woman's carried the baby for like nine months. She's gone through all the hours of labor. And then the doctor's just like looks at the dad goes, you want to cut this thing? It's like, it's like letting the woman run the whole marathon. And then you get to break the <laughs> ribbon at the end. You know, like, yeah, we did it. Did you do it? <laughs> oh yeah. Both times. Ugh, you didn't mm. eat it. Did you? No, we're not fucking disgusting. Jesus. Some people scrapbook that shit. That's well, I heard people like cook it up. What? Yeah. Yeah, and they call it tapas. Yeah, and they call it tapas. They call it egg rolls. They put it in a bile. <laughs> they put it in a bile. You they, didn't hear that? What? Like people that eat, eat that the, shit? Oh. Yeah, they fry it up. Oh. Or eat, they eat the placenta. Oh. Right? I, I don't know, man. I could be wrong about that What one. kind of cults are you hanging out with? I don't with? hang out with guys. I just hear shit. I don't have kids, so clearly I didn't do it. Mm-hmm. Let me see. Uh, cooking. Oh, speaking a, of. I used to play placenta. P-L-A-C-N-A-N-A-S. Bananas. B 
be bananas. Did you spell bananas real? I, I just <laughs> did. You type it in <laughs> while I was spelling. You really you typed in placentanos. I put pla- bananas. I was like, wait, what the <laughs> p l n n n n n bananas p p placenta p l a c e n t a. Google's like, you mean plantains? <laughs> yeah, that's wait, what they call cooked p- placentas, plantains. Wait, how do you spell p a l a l a? It's P L A. I got it. I got it. T A S. Let's see. I'm gonna see some nasty shit right now. I bet. Ugh, it's gonna look like some like beat up garlic shrimp. <laughs> My internet's not working. Screw it. No. What's that called? The uh, the Greek seed at the the octopus. Squid. Yeah, calamari. Right. Is yeah, it calamari. Cal- fried is calamari. It, yeah, isn't fried calamari just cut up squid or octopus? I would think so. Yeah. Or the tentacles or some shit like yeah. that. I don't know. Speaking of Irish uh, what and fighting, what's going on with your boy, Conor McGregor? My boy? Your boy. Well, he's Irish, so he's my boy. But yeah, he's, he's your boy. He's MMA, so he's your boy. He's probably just people pissing him off. Yeah, he, uh, he, he got hit with some uh, burglary. Well, charges it's not down burglary. He's, so he smacked the shit out of somebody's phone. Smacked the phone out of somebody's hand. And then he took it. Yeah, he probably had to delete the photos of him smacking the phone out of the guy's hand, or the video at least. You think that's what it was? I, Hell yeah! I read the article and I, I it's saw smart. The, I saw the interview with the guy uh, who allegedly got attacked. Yeah, and the guy's huge, by the way. Yeah, he's a big guy. He's not no pussy. No, and he's not from the U.S. either. He was some guy over here from England. Yeah, so he was he was mouthing off. You think he was? Like Hell yeah! Just hanging out in clubs in Miami. He's like, corner. Yeah. Let me get a picture. Corner. No, let he'll me get say a picture. more than let me get a picture. You think he was talking shit? Oh yeah. Yeah. He was an MMA fan too. Ah. He was talking shit. Yeah. And then Connor smacked the phone out of his hand. This all speculative on your part. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Connor smacked the phone out of his hand. Mm-hmm. And then Connor's security team came in and he interviewed. Smashed it, right? He stepped on it. Stepped yeah. on it. And then I think he was smart. He got he was smart enough to go, oh wait. Mm-hmm. Let me take the phone. Get rid of the evidence. And then I can delete it mm-hmm. from his gallery. And that's what got him charged with the burglary. I, brother, but there's no proof. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's like 50 no video proof though. Yeah. Oh, unless somebody else videotaped it. Yeah. Shit. God damn. It. <laughs> you think it was just uh? Yeah, that's that's the thing. Whenever it's whenever someone's like, well, I was just minding my own business. I'm like, mm, were you? I don't want him to get in trouble because I want him to fight. Isn't he on suspension right now? Yes and no, and they he's supposed to fight uh Cowboy Sharoni. What happened? It was the last fight he was in that he lost, right? He lost his last fight, and then there was, like, a whole camp Yeah, he fight. lost to Khabib. And what happened afterwards? And then, like we talked about before, they just, like, the whole the whole place lost it and had a riot. Mm. Like, his camp and then Khabib's camp. And Did he lose that one by, like, a decision? He lost that by a choke. Okay. So, he tapped. So what was the fight, o- fight about? Like, Because then Khabib, the winner, he walked out the cage and then attacked his old coach. Oh, because his, his old, old coach, coach jumped ship and to went to Connor's camp. Yeah, and mm-hmm. he went after his old coach, and then it just all hell broke loose. And then people were jumping in the ring, and Connor got punched by another guy, and then Connor punched this guy. It was a whole, it was a whole fiasco. It was great. It was amazing. It was amazing. Yeah, I'll have I to watch it. the video on that. You don't remember it, huh? I know we talked about it. I didn't see the video, though. There's a poster I want to get of uh, Khabib jumping out of the cage. He looks like a majestic eagle. Oh, yeah? <laughs> He's just jumping in the... <laughs> he looks like a Mario stomp. Mm-hmm. It's hilarious. He just is know. he a taller guy? Khabib. Yeah, uh, I would say. Yeah. Are they? Do they just do it by weight, or does height factor in? Can you fight someone that's like a foot taller than you? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, what'd you call it? Height, height don't mean jack. It's all about weight. Yeah, yeah. And you can have a reach. You can have a reach. You know, double double the length of whatever your without whatever your is, and. uh you got to deal with that. Yeah, here it is. Look. Look at that majestic. <laughs> Look like Mario. Just <laughs> beep, beep, whoop. beep. Boop, 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 yeah, boop. He, he, he jumped out of the gate and he jumped and then he's jumping onto somebody down here. It's so funny. That's kind of shitty. Like unsportsmanlike crap, right? You just want to fight. <laughs> you want to fight. And now and he runs gonna... out the ring and then he jumps onto someone like a Goomba and <laughs> he tries to stomp somebody's head. Then that's when all sh- that's when so all he's help. suspended right now too. Mm-hmm. So that's he just he he takes down one of uh takes down one of MMA's top guys. Yes, yeah, so that's that's him choking Connor out. 
Yeah. And they tapped. Would have been well on his way up the ranks, right? Connor's sitting in, in his in his bitch defeat. mode. Yeah, yeah, defeat face. And, uh, and uh, then yeah. he goes and does something stupid like that. I mean, stupid or yeah. historic? Because <laughs> this would go down history forever. Yeah. I don't know. I, I love it. <laughs> I, I love shit like this. I, like, that's why I love watching old Mike Tyson videos. Of just like him, like losing his shit, and mm-hmm. like the whole like him biting Holyfield's ear off. Yeah, I mean, you couldn't write that. That's amazing. Yeah, I, uh, I, I gotta tell you, I tried watching. Uh, have you watched the? Was it Leaving Neverland or whatever? Leaving I, Neverland. I heard about it, and I heard some disturbing shit. I tried. I tried to watch like the first 30, 40 minutes. So it's a two part series. Yeah, two part series, and uh, after like forty minutes, I just I couldn't. So I heard that he the was The guy's like, a liar. What do you hear? Who's a liar? I hear one of the guys. Because so far I've seen it's about two guys. Two guys who Michael Jackson pretty much, you know. Touched a b-hole. Preened them when they were kids yeah, and yeah. everything else. One was a kid from, uh, I think, Australia that won a dance competition and a chance to meet Michael. <laughs> and then Michael started taking him on the road. Oh, I love and the other dance. one was the kid from the Pepsi commercial where oh, I love Pepsi. Yeah. I love Pepsi too. Yeah. And uh I guess the way Michael Jackson was able to hang out with them when they were younger is at the end of Michael's tour, uh every show on the tour, he'd have kids come out on stage and dance with him. Of so, course. So then he had just, these just two boys. Kids. Just just beautiful blonde blue eyed boys. Pretty much. <laughs> Get away from me, that ugly girl. Pretty just much. Pretty, pretty boys. But one of the uh one of the boys uh, there's speculation that he's just, ne- he testified for Michael Jackson in two trials to say, you know, Michael was a friend as a kid and yeah, he yeah. never did anything. But now that Michael Jackson is dead, apparently the rumor is that, uh, all bets are off. <laughs> he, he, well, the rumor is that Mike, he, this kid was up for a dance or a lead role in like one of the Cirque Michael shows. Mm -hmm. And when he didn't get that lead role, now he's doing this for the money. Uh, This guy supposedly dated Michael Jackson's niece for a while. And Michael Jackson's niece is coming on going, this guy is full of shit. You know, Uh, this is also the guy that she, or uh, when, when uh, Justin Timberlake and Christina Aguilera, no, Justin. Oh, Tim- okay, sound it out. Ju- it's Justin Timberlake. <laughs> uh-huh. And, uh huh. Christina. No, Britney Spears. Okay. <laughs> we're dating. Yeah. This is supposedly the guy that Britney cheated on Justin with, and Justin wrote that whole Cry Me a River song about. <laughs> so this guy has had like a shady just history of being a douche. So I heard that the two boys, their fathers committed suicide over this. Really? Yes. Um, I haven't seen the that boys part. that got touched. Mm-hmm. Their fathers, both of them, mm-hmm. their fathers committed suicide both over what fathers. they did. Really? Because they allowed Michael Jackson to take their kids, mm-hmm. which bad which, parenting, number one. Which is funny because <laughs> it was you mentioning Mike Tyson that brought this all to mind. Yeah. Because Mike Tyson. Two different had, mics. Mike Tyson had done. No, Mike Tyson had a comment. He's like, I would never let my children stay over Michael Jackson. <laughs> like even Mike Tyson, who has taken semi trucks to the head, is still like. No, <laughs> you Dude. know, you can't let your kids sleep in a room alone with Michael yep. Jackson. Parents are at fault. Mm-hmm. Hey, Mike, um, what are you doing this weekend? Uh, nothing. nothing. You mind, um, you going out? You going? You got gigs? No, no gigs. You can leave the kids with me. No, we're, we're good, man. No, maybe just, uh, they can hang out. We can have a sleep. I mean, they can stay over. No, you're like 35. My kids are like eight. Yeah, but it's cool, man. No, it's not. It's, you're a fucking grown ass man. <laughs> Thank you. <No. laughs> in the end. Why did it? Um, okay. Well, Take them away from what I've from what I've gathered so far. Like they're interviewing the mo- one of the moms, and she's like, "Well, here's the thing." He was so provoking. We were we were on the road and we were on tour, and we would always get the hotel rooms. And uh, you know, it started out where Michael would have a hotel room, and our hotel room would be right next to Michael's. Oh, what a and, surprise! And then <laughs> and then after a while, uh, our hotel room would be on a totally different floor. And uh, his people would say, well, uh, we could Ugh. only get you the nicest suite. They didn't have two wonderful suites next uh. to each other. So the mother's like, okay, well, that makes sense. I'm like, that makes sense. How about you sleep in a regular fucking room so you can be, you know, but more importantly, how is this even an option? Your kid stays in your room with you. 
you know? <laughs> it's okay. They can stay with me. Tee hee. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the kid was saying that uh, Michael would actually run drills with them so that oh. they could they could get dressed if there was a knock at the door and stuff like that. I was heard some other disturbing shit. Yeah. That he made them get on all fours. Uh huh. And like he'll spread, stare at their spread buttholes. cheeks. Yeah. And like once in a while, like pass by and like give it a lick. Oh, I just threw up, and then mm. yeah, it was just I I I've heard of all this shit. I was like, yeah, I don't need to watch this shit movie. Like, no, you should watch it. I'm like, I don't need to watch mm. it. I heard enough. I don't know. Are you gonna try to finish watching it? I don't know, man. It's disturbing as fuck. Um, it's not like I was ever like a huge Michael fan. He's a weirdo. Yeah, he's always been a weirdo. Yeah, just looking at him. Yeah, no fucking fucking douche. But. Yeah, I don't know, man. I guess that song, Pretty Young Thing, mm -hmm. is a whole different meaning now. Yeah. It's just kind of hard. <laughs> PYT? It's kind of hard because, like, he's not around anymore. So, you know, he went through two trials on this, right? Yes. Well, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think he ever I'm got I'm pretty sure he went through trials. I don't think he ever got convicted, right? They made me strip down, mm -hmm. and they uh, looked at my penis. I remember that. My yeah. buttocks. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, I will say there's, there's definitely... Something not right with a thirty-ish, forty-ish, fifty-year-old guy. You just out ignorant. With kids. You just ignorant. You mm. Ignorant. They don't. You don't understand. Y'all just ignorant. I had my childhood <laughs> taken away. <laughs> oh, <laughs> come on, girl, boy, girl. <laughs> come here, Mike. I heard you. Were, heard you were altar boy. Come mm. here. Oh man. Come here, muscly arms. <laughs> oh. Yeah, speaking of altar boys, I guess... Uh, speaking of altar boys, what the Pete, fuck? <laughs> Pete Davidson on SNL made a comment the other night. Which I haven't seen yet, right? but I heard about it. But basically, uh, it was something about the only difference between R. Kelly and Michael Jackson is the Catholic Church is better music or something <laughs> like that. And now the Catholic Church is coming out demanding that he issues an apology, which reminds me of what was it like... Uh, Last year, after the show, that old woman that came up to me and got on me for my altar boy joke. Well, wait, do we got to apologize for every joke now? Besides that, uh, I hate to say it, stereotypes become stereotypes for a reason. Don't come at me because I'm doing a joke about altar boys getting molested uh, when altar boys are still getting molested. Because you're not going up to the priest after the service going, hey, could you could you knock off fucking the kids? Because whenever I go to a comedy show, it makes me feel really awkward when the comic gets up there talking about it. Yeah, I got the video. I, I didn't hear I haven't heard it yet. Kelly and Michael Jackson. Here with some thoughts is Pete Davidson. <laughs> How you doing, man? Hey, Colin. So uh, have you guys seen the R. Kelly documentary? Uh, yeah, Pete, I did. Okay, now before I continue, like this guy is a monster and uh, he should go to jail forever. But... If you support the Catholic Church, isn't that like the same thing as being an R. Kelly fan? <laughs> like, no. Yeah. I don't really see the difference. <laughs> Only like one's music is significantly better. <laughs> <laughs> no, because the other day, the other day my mom was like, I'm going to mass. And I was like, okay, I'm going to go listen to the Ignition remix. <laughs> uh, look, I'm not saying it's an easy decision. Like, I'm just saying... You don't know how good someone's music really is until you find out they're a pedophile. <laughs> and the reason everybody's so upset is because R. Kelly and Michael Jackson made great music, you know? <laughs> if I found out Macklemore did some weird stuff, I'd be happy to free up the space on my iPhone, you know? <laughs> it just, like, depends who did it, you know? Like, and I understand people who say, like, how could you listen to that music after what he did? Headphones? I don't know. <laughs> Look, believe me, look, once we start so doing our research, we're not going to have much left, you know, because it seems like all really talented people are sick. <laughs> Don't worry, Colin, me and you are good. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not Che, though. Che's a genius. <laughs> <laughs> look, I don't know what, what it is with talented people. Uh, you know, Charlie Chaplin was like the first movie star ever, and he married a 15-year-old, and he couldn't even talk. <laughs> talk in real life. No, he couldn't. I saw all the footage. He didn't talk once. <laughs> That's why he's a silent film star. <laughs> so, Funny, man. <clears throat> well, guys, like R. Kelly, the rule should be, if you want to listen to their music, you just have to admit that they're bad people. Yeah? Is it that hard to just stop listening to them all entirely? Or? Well, you don't listen to R. Kelly, you know, but what if you found out the inventor of, like, hair gel got caught jerking it on a train, you know? <laughs> you can't use hair gel anymore. It's a, it's a good point, actually. Yeah. <laughs> All I'm 
I'm saying is like pretending these people never existed is maybe not the solution. You know, the rule should be like you could appreciate their work, but only if you admit what they did. You know, you could buy a Mustang, but you have to say Henry Ford hated the Jews as you buckle it. You know <laughs> what? The full sentence should be Mark Wahlberg beat up an old Asian dude. And I would like one ticket to daddy's home three, please. <laughs> <laughs> Because if it's that important to you, at least own it. You know, like, I don't need to ever see a Kevin Spacey movie again. But if the CEO of Swisher Sweets turns out to be a cannibal, I can't just change my whole life, okay? <laughs> so here's my plan, and hopefully you guys like it. Every time any of us listen to a song or watch a movie made by an accused serial predator, you have to give a dollar to charity that helps sexual assault survivors. I've already donated $142, and that's just from the Ignition Remix alone. <laughs> That is really nice, Pete. And um, is there anything else you want to talk about? Um, just uh, anything else going on? No, I don't, th I don't think so. Uh huh. Not like a new girlfriend situation at all, Pete? Dude, oh, that's yeah. right. Oh, yeah. Uh, what an upgrade. Apparently, people have a crazy fascination with our age difference, uh, but it doesn't really bother us. But then again, I'm new to this. So if you have questions about a relationship with a big age difference, just ask. Leonardo DiCaprio, Jason Statham, Michael Douglas, Richard Gere, Jeff Goldum, Scott Disick, <laughs> Dane Cook, Derek Jeter, Bruce Willis, Harrison Ford, Tommy Lee, Alec Baldwin, Sean Penn, and whoever the president of France is, Mel Gibson, <laughs> Billy Joel, Mick Jagger, Sylvester Sloan, Eddie Murphy, Kelsey Grammer, Larry King, Larry King, Larry King, <laughs> uh, Rod Stewart, and Donald Trump. Pete Davidson, everyone. You're going down, Shane. You're going down. Dude, that is right. He upgraded. You think so? Hell yeah. Kate Beckins Beckinson? Beckinsale. Beckinsale? Mm hmm Over Ariana Grande? Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 That yeah. mother everyone's pissed too, man. You know what it is? People hate seeing uh um dudes with hot chicks. <laughs> cause they cause everyone's like, he's an ugly dude. And they're like, you can't stand it. He's gotta be what, six six, six seven? He's tall. He's, he's tall lanky as shit. Yeah. yeah. He'll grow into his body someday. <laughs> Not with all the drugs. <laughs> Yeah, man, Kate back and and it could be a publicity thing because uh, she does have another movie coming out. I think she's doing like another vampire movie. Yeah, and you think she needs the help of Pete Davidson to promote that along? I mean, I maybe. Who knows? That gives us comedians hope. Yeah, we've always had hope. I mean, let's face <laughs> it, you met your girl from doing comedy, right? Yeah, but it's not Kate Beckinsale. So she doesn't listen to the show. That's all right. <laughs> It's mm -hmm. you still you did pretty good. She's she's got good head on her sh shoulders, right? She's smart. Yeah, she has good head. I mean, she's yeah, gonna, she's gonna be a doctor, <laughs> a doctor. She cooks for you. She cleans. Cooks you're, for her, yeah. You're good. Yeah, we're good. You're good. Great. Yeah. She's yeah. African American, so you get away with doing some black she's jokes half. you'd never yeah. get away with. Oh yeah, that's true, man. I get away with that stuff. You now. do. Yeah. You like I? No, it's okay. I'm dating a black chick. <laughs> I got a, I got a, I got a card. I got a validation card right here. Jesus Christ. <laughs> You didn't know you get one of those? I did not know. I got a card. I need a card. You get a card. Al Sharp <laughs> comes to your house and gives you a card. Oh, man. Oh, man. You're living the good life. You're living the good life. Yeah. Grass Whatever. is always greener. It is always greener because everyone takes a shit over there. Yeah. Well, uh... Are you tapping on me? Wait, tapping on you. I brought every single topic this week. Good, good for you. I did. I did. I did my homework. I'm just glad you haven't coughed once in the damn uh, podcast because you're attacking it up earlier. Yeah, just getting out there. Man, I can't wait till this is over. I got to get back in the gym. Yeah, we're not working out tonight, right? No. Come on, man. What? Being a bitch. You want me? To, you didn't even want me in your house. You want me to contaminate your gym? Exactly. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't give a shit about other people. Yeah. Let them die. What you got going on this week? Nothing St. Patty's Day, right? Now, we were supposed to do a show. I'm glad we passed on that. Dude, now it's like the Jewish comedy show. Yeah, it's uh, Richie Lees, who uh, Richie's actually uh, helped me out big time when I was starting. I'm glad they thought of something because I did not want to do a leprechaun roast. I still would like, if we passed on the roast, I still would like them to be like, hey. A showcase? Yeah. How did we get voted Even out of then, that? man. Even then. I don't know. I've done shows on St. Patty's Day every year for like the past five Have or you? six. I hate doing shows on holidays because then it's just like. It I just don't know. depends. I the mean, turnout's low. I don't I don't think so. I don't think so. Most of the times I've done shows because there's a good group of people who still want to go up out and do something, but they're not into the just being in a crowded bar all night. You know? Oh, man. Did I tell you I went to Tampa and did uh, improv? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's right. I talked to you. Oh. And that was last Wednesday or yeah, last yeah, Thursday, yeah. right? Yeah. 
Yeah, so you went out, you were on a showcase out there. At the I was Tampa. on a showcase. Was that your first time performing My out first there? first time. What'd you think? Nice building, right? Yeah, it's cool. It's yeah. Like three tiers or whatever. Yeah. I've been there. I just never been on stage. Oh, okay. Man. Good show? Uh, sure. How for, many people? For me. <laughs> How many people on the lineup? Like almost like, oh, on the lineup? It was mm-hmm. like maybe like eight. How many in the audience? 200. Ah, oh, that's good. Yeah, man. Yeah. But, uh, How'd your set go? My set went great. I, I had a great time. You closed the host, it out? The host is strong. The guy before me, Tony Fats, he did good. Mm-hmm. And then there's another guy, JJ Curry. Okay. Those guys are great. Yeah. Everyone else ate a shit sandwich. Well, you just named four guys out of like eight. So half the show bombed is what you're saying. Yeah. Like bombed hard. Like, dude, noticeably. it was bad. A couple chuckles, but there like, was one like guy. Awkward, like, on a level of like, this guy got the worst. This other guy, he was like, he's bombing. First off, he did a joke about being a retarded or handicapped playing football and then he acted it out on stage mm. and no one left mm. and then he called everyone no he then after he bombs he starts yelling at his girlfriend demanding a baby take my picture i'm on the improv stage baby take my picture and, and she's like not taking his picture she had already left she's yeah. like she, i'm not like, like, come on i'm gonna get my credit and then he starts naming uh. other comedians of who gives a fuck like because, that he's open for to prove Yeah, but that like it was no one like he, it wasn't gonna be like he was like I open for Dave Chappelle, like nothing. <laughs> like it was just like who the hell are you talking about? Mm. I open for Yuck Yuck, I open for JJ Baby, you know what I mean. Open up for drag on. I like, opened up for you know what I mean. <laughs> like what, what are you doing? And they wouldn't get then they played the music and then he thought that was his time to dance. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it was bad. But besides that it was a great show. Yeah, I had a, I had a Wednesday night, I was up in Daytona, and I had a kid with me, it was his first time featuring, and uh, y- you know, there's that transition you make where you get bumped up from like bar comic to, to clubs. Yeah, you gotta do 25. You gotta do 20, 25, and uh, some of the stuff that will kill for you at a coffee shop amongst your peers or at a down and dirty Irish bar on a Wednesday night uh, isn't going to play the same to a bunch of middle-aged and older people who came out and got sitters for a nice, enjoyable evening. Yeah. And, uh, you know, he, he didn't do well. It was rough for him. And afterwards, he stuck around and was just asking advice. And I was like, oh, yeah, no, I got some notes for you. <laughs> and then... Uh, Did you see my set? We all saw your set. Yeah. And then uh, I was down in Fort Pierce Saturday at the uh, Sunrise Theater, which is a beautiful room. And uh, right before the show, uh, the host comes back and tells me, he's like, hey... Where's the feature? I'm like, I don't know. I, you know, usually when I go on the road, a lot of times I get asked, do I want to bring someone? But they already had someone booked since I was picking up a fallout. And uh, they're like, feature's not here yet. And I'm like, well, just introduce me and I'll do his time. You know, I don't care. And uh, they held the show for the fucking feature. And I was like, so when the feature showed up, I'd never met this guy. And he seemed nice enough and everything. But in my head, I'm already like uh, unprofessional. Yeah, yeah. You know? And then he was all, uh, man, I've been meaning to talk to you. We got a lot of mutual friends. I want to come up do some comedy in Orlando. I'm like, dude, you showed up late for a real show. Yeah. You know, and not even sorry or apologetic about it. Or, you know, there's really no. And the thing is, I came from Orlando to do that show, and he was a local. Yeah, so you're, whatever, you're five minutes away, dude. Yeah, whatever excuse you have for not being there. Like, if, if you get there less than 30 minutes before the start of the show, you're already late in my right. head. So holding a show for you is just fucking ludicrous, you know? <laughs> that actually happened at the Tampa show. Like, three comedians showed up late i think two of them got bumped because he had to put up other open micers up yeah because once the show starts you show know, starts it always shocks me like even when i run uh showcase and stuff that people don't understand once that show starts you know you're late you know i've given your spot to someone else or i'm just a lot of times i'm happy you didn't show up because i had too many people on as it was so it makes it easy right so when you come staggering in and we've had a show for an hour or I, I especially hate the ones who are like, they come staggering in late, and then you're like, all right, we'll throw you on the list. Oh, well, I got to go up last then? Yeah. 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 <laughs> that's how it works. Yeah. So Yeah, screw it. But So that's it? Nothing that's this, it. I nothing got nothing going on. Um, I'll probably be at Improv on Friday night hanging out. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go to Improv. I think someone's, someone's there this week I want to see. Who is it? I think it's Jim Norton. Yeah, yeah, uh, he's there Friday and Saturday. I yeah, I'll go, I'm right. gonna go check out the late show. Right, right, and uh, then uh, that's it. 
let's see, I am, uh, what is it, spring break next week, so you're going to be busy all week, huh? I'm, I'm spring breaking it, baby. Let's see, the 22nd, I'm at the Idle Zone in Auburndale, Florida. Uh, the 27th, I'm at Breakaways in Flagler Beach. And the 29th, I'm at the Winner's Circle in Lakeland, Florida. So just uh, a couple of one-nighters. Who are you going to Winner's Circle with? Uh, me, myself, and I, I think. You want to come? I do. You want to open it up? I do. You've been out there before. Yeah. 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 They it. liked you last time. Yeah, so let's do it. Yeah, right out with me, dude. Okay, I'll f- we'll, we'll talk about it. All right, cool. Cool. So uh, this has been the Obligatory Podcast, episode number 55. Uh, if you haven't already, you can find us on iTunes, Spotify, Podbean, YouTube. YouTube. Instagram. Uh, Instagram. Thank you guys for uh, tuning in, coming back, keeping it alive. As always, we try to keep our Facebook going. And that is the wrap-up sound of get the hell out of here because Mike wants to go to sleep. And, uh, don't put your nuts on the mic. Ugh. Why is it so scratchy? It, I'm not washing that. I'm not going to wash it. It's going to stay stinky. All right, guys. We'll talk to you later. Bye.